We're going to continue with our problem solving techniques, quick review of what we've covered so far. Don't forget that dimensional analysis is just one method of problem solving. It's a method of converting one unit in a problem to another unit using a series of conversion factors. The steps to making sure you get the correct answer, you always need to identify your starting and ending units. You need to line up your conversion factors so those units will cancel. You need to then make sure you do the math correctly by multiplying the numerators and dividing them by the product of the denominators. Then don't forget to check your final unit and the math of your answer. So far, we've done basic uh, dimensional analysis and metric conversions in your previous podcast. You worked on metric conversions. Now we're going to use our dimensional analysis technique for solving some chemistry problems involving typical conversion of units and density. Our first problem is nothing more than converting the distance between two hydrogen atoms from picometers to inches. So you want to be able to take your problem and read through it. The distance between two hydrogen atoms in a molecule of H2 is 75 picometers. What is the distance in inches? So really you're saying 75 picometers equals how many inches? You need to come up with your conversion factors that link these units. They're either conversion factors that you've memorized or that you look up. So working from picometers, we're going to need to know the conversion between picometers and meters so that we can get from meters to centimeters to get to the link that we have memorized between centimeters and inches. Once you have all of those conversion factors, you simply link them up correctly. 75 picometers, 1 picometer is 1 times 10 to the negative 12 meters. Notice we've put the 1 on the smaller unit, which is giving us a negative exponent for the larger unit, as we learned in the previous podcast. And then 1 meter is 100 centimeters. Meters have canceled. Centimeters have canceled when we put in our final conversion of 2.54 centimeters in one inch and do the final calculation. We're also going to use dimensional analysis to help us with our density problems or with problem, excuse me, problems that use density within them. We know that density is a mass volume ratio. So any number that is a ratio can be used as a conversion factor. So if we knew the density of an object to be 2.0 grams per milliliter, then we could use that value as a conversion factor. If we started with milliliters, so let's say we had 4 milliliters, and we want to know the mass of 4 milliliters of an object that has this density, we would use the fact that 1 milliliter has a mass of 2.0 grams. Here, if we started with 4 grams of an object and we want to know the volume that it takes up, we would use our density, but this time we would say 1 milliliter is 2.0 grams. So using density as a conversion factor is no different than using any of the other conversion factors that we have used previously. Here's a typical problem that involves density. We've got a 55-gallon drum that weighs 75 pounds when it is empty. We want to know the total mass when we fill this drum with ethanol. So you have to read through here to figure out what you have. You basically have 55 gallons of ethanol. You have a drum that weighs 75 pounds, and you want to know the total mass. So you need to find the mass of the drum plus 
the ethanol in order to answer this question. You've got gallons and pounds and you're going to have to get your units to be something you can add together. The density of ethanol is 0.789 grams per cubic centimeter. One cubic centimeter is equivalent to one milliliter. They also give you that one gallon is 3.78 liters and they tell you that one pound is 454 grams. So using these conversion factors and others that you may know or may have memorized, you're going to solve this problem. And this is a little more advanced, so you have to take your time and look through to see the information that you have and the information that you need. 55 gallons of ethanol is how many pounds? Because once we find the pounds of ethanol, we'll be able to add it to the 75 pounds of the container. So taking our 55 gallons of ethanol, they gave us this conversion factor. One gallon is 3.78 liters. This is a conversion factor you need to know. One liter is a thousand milliliters. This is the density of the ethanol and we're using it as a conversion factor. One milliliter is equivalent to 0 0.789 grams. This allows us to get to the grams unit which will allow us in the final conversion to get to pounds. So one milliliter is equivalent to 0 0.789 grams and then our final conversion converts grams to pounds. This would be the mass, not excuse me, the mass, the weight of the ethanol and we're going to add that to the 75 pounds. So down here we have a total weight of 436.31 pounds. So this problem involved thinking through what do we have, what conversion factors were we given, and what conversion factor do we need to know and do with that information once we're done to add it to the original mass. So this is a good example of problem solving. Our next problem, you have 1.5 pounds of gold. We want to find its volume in cubic centimeters if the density of gold is 19.3 grams per cubic centimeters. And they've given you the conversion factor 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. So you've got to take this and convert it into a simple question. 1.5 pounds of gold is how many milliliters or cubic centimeters of gold? So you would start with your 1.5 pounds of gold and then you need to be able to get to volume. So you can see that this conversion factor, 2.2 pounds in one kilogram, is going to get you to mass. Then if you can link that mass to grams, so one kilogram is a thousand grams. And then looking at our density, 19.3 grams is equivalent to one excuse me, cubic centimeter. So our pounds have canceled, kilograms, grams, and we're now at cubic centimeters. So showing this a little neater, our pounds kilograms, grams, and our final answer, 35 cubic centimeters is the volume of 1.5 pounds of gold that has that density. So using dimensional analysis and the logic behind it will help you to solve problems in chemistry and in many other subjects.